here's the final Jeopardy category for the three of you. Keys and cities, think about it. Thank you, we appreciate it. Well, tonight's episode is not going to be as nearly as exciting as I had hoped because I wanted to give myself a second level of mathematical challenge. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams and uh, made a cardinal error tonight. I forgot that it was April 1st. Well, I was well aware it was April 1st, but I wasn't watching right from the beginning. I was just listening not paying attention to what was going on. It was only when I saw Oliver, I think, get the first Daily Double that I looked and noticed that the scores on the podium, podiums, lecterns, whatever it's called, they were backwards. And I caught a few more. All three Daily Doubles had them. Uh, the two that Milton got in the second round. Sorry, Milton? Who is Milton? Got in the second round. One of them was upside down or backwards, and the other one was the Wheel of Fortune new puzzle sound or as I prefer to call it, the you get to spin the big wheel at the casino sound. So the math here tonight, not too exciting, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, what else was there? There was a Watson picking a clue. There was Ken Jennings answering in Todd's stead, which I thought was cheating, because, uh, I don't know, did Todd actually get that right? We'll never know. I assume standards and practices would have said something otherwise. And uh, what was the other one? Oh yeah, Sushi Bar Era, Alex, uh, Red, uh, oh sorry, Alex on screen. Mr. Brett Schneider's thoughts on recording clues with ABC News anchor and oh. I thought it was some sort of explanation of all the uh, tricks tonight, but I guess I'll have to go back later and see what all the things were they did. Because it's fun like that. If Oliver doubles up, he's got 0, 08, he's gonna double up, he's gonna have 1, 0. So to stay above that, Milton can wager up to one eight, and including one eight. It's a double lock situation. No one can improve their standing without someone above them making a bonehead move. If Milton doubles up, he will have a five zero. So that's nice and round. It means Todd can wager up to six uh, e. Which, I guess, if I'm going to do it, God, I hope no one does uh, some sort of non-100 wager tonight. I guess that's going to be up to 6D and uh, 63-64. So I should point out that all scores tonight are multiplied by 6-4 because I don't feel like doing that much math. This is hard enough as it is because uh, I don't know any good tricks. Maybe my real computer science friends who deal with this day in and day out beyond color codes so it can speak up with something. Uh, yeah, so what else happened tonight? You know, one of the reasons I was aware it was April Fool's Day, obviously, everyone's doing these really stupid jokes. It's very hard to pull off a very good uh, April Fool's Day joke, so don't try unless you know it's going to be good. Google is usually pretty solid on it, but they botched that this year. We'll talk about that more after we play Final Jeopardy. Sounds like geography to me. Asian cities is the category for final. Gentlemen, here is your clue. Of Asia's ten most populous urban areas, this city on an island is the only one south of the equator. You have 30 seconds. Good luck. What is that? Cool to be luck? That's Sweden? Cool to be luck. Cold Village. I don't know. Uh, this is my best guess. I can't. Uh, Mumbai, maybe, but I think Mumbai. I think actually all is all of. Uh, I think all of India is above the equator. So I know the equator goes through Indonesia. So Jakarta is my best guess. It, it's probably not Singapore. It's not really on the island. So. Oliver, you were up and down. You couldn't get any rhythm going today on the program, but you wound up on the plus side with eight hundred. Let's take a look and see what you came up with as your final Jeopardy response. What is Jakarta in Indonesia? You're right. Good. Good for you. Uh -huh. That bumps you up to $15.99. Takes us to Milton. He had $4,000. Did he come up with Jakarta? No, he picked uh -huh. Mumbai instead. And that will cost him $2,000. Putting him at $2,000. <laughs> that is not very nice. Really weird. 
he couldn't be caught. He kicked Sydney. Sydney. So not really sure, but money. Ooh. Ooh. I think that is that maximum. Would that be? No, six. Three, yeah. No. Yeah. I think I did that all right. So, uh, Google, in case you didn't hear or see, they had a little feature on Gmail where you could append a uh, cartoon or a GIF of some sort of one of the minions dropping a mic, which is supposed to be the last word. Oh, I said something so huge, no one can respond to it. Well, I guess a bunch of people sent very professional emails and hit that button without even thinking about it. So now they look like dicks and it's all Google to blame because you don't put a button right next to the real button. Nothing I don't think will top the, uh, we have the Legend of Zelda uh, map on Google so you could play as Link and uh, go around and everything was the old 8-bit uh, world style with the little trees and such. Uh, I almost didn't do, well, this isn't really an April Fool's joke, it's just me being a huge nerd. The uh, other thing I was considering before this was uh, doing it upside down, which would have been too much for my brain to handle, where my head would have been down here and I would have had to write all the numbers upside down and my response upside down. I'm good at reading backwards and upside down, but writing, not there yet. Probably never will be. Of course, very few April Fool's jokes will ever top Just Wager 4000, which some would argue is not a joke at all. Anyway, uh, Todd now has four games, or zero four games, I guess, in uh, the win column, and uh, today is the 102nd, or the 6-6 uh, game, 6-6th game to not have a five-time champion, which is a new record. Congratulations, everybody who played in the last, I don't know, six and a half months, or whatever it's been, five and a half months. Todd will be looking to break it on Monday, at which time I hope you'll join me right here on the final wager. Have a great weekend.